if you're joining in to A1R Radio, listening to us today, and the people who's viewing us on Moonstruck ITV. I am Noah Fleming. This is my son, Declan. And this Hi. is my daughter, Lilith. For those of you who can see us, you know, it's clearly they're tweenies, right? Because we 10 going on six. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you do in lockdown? Okay, what do you do in lockdown? You add your children to everything. Okay, so today this is homeschooling. We're homeschooling today. Um, how can I? Um, I wasn't on last week. Well, I wasn't live last week, so I do apologise. I was, I was a little bit ill. No, not COVID. Not COVID. Not COVID. All right, I had a COVID test. It's nicky. Love it. Love it. Um, but yes. So, Declan, Declan is, how old are you? I am 11, turning 12. When do you turn 12? On the 28th of this month. The 28th of this month? Yes. 12. He's going on like. Right, <laughs> Lily, darling, you're being super quiet, super resting bitch face in the back there. What's going on, girlfriend? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You don't know. Should you be doing your schoolwork now and not participating in my radio show? No. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> are you sure? No. Uh, so what are you people doing at home? Hey, what is everybody keeping safe? So it's midday here in Australia on Thursday, the 5th of August. Um, I know our American brothers and sisters are all about Behind us. So it's 10 p.m. in America at the moment on Wednesday night. Um, yeah, what's everyone been up to? Are you keeping safe? Are you? We're based in Brisbane. Um, we're currently in lockdown. So various states of Australia are in, you know, various levels of lockdown and quarantine and stuff. It's um, been a bit scary again. You know, I'm trying to reach out to as many people as possible so I can try and help them through this period. There's so much negativity, you know, so so many hard knocks. What's what's it like at school? Well, before we were homeschooling, what were the kids like at, at school? Like, what are their attitudes like? Are they scared? Are they why? Um, uh, um, nothing really. We're all basically the same and. Uh, we just got uh, put into lockdown. I was like, oh, okay. And uh, we only chat by Outlook and uh, FaceTime and yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a caller, guys. This is a bit scary, I know, but the callers help me. They all give me like positive, positive vibes that makes me not as nervous. So we have Lisa in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, USA, on the line waiting for us. Hi, Lisa. Lisa? Yeah, I was getting a bit worried, Lisa. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> I was getting a little bit worried. I'm sorry, I could barely hear you. I heard you say something, but I didn't hear my name. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Let me, you know what? Let me try something else. Is that better, Lisa? Yeah, that's great. Okay, <laughs> excellent, excellent. So are you keeping safe, Lisa? What's going on with you? Um, I really don't know. Do you want to know the truth? Like what's going on with me? Yeah. I honestly don't know. Yeah. Let's just say I'm a freaking You're roller coaster. Hit me up, hit me up. <laughs> you, you can't offend me, okay? So hit me up with how you are, seriously. What do you mean? Tell me. Tell me exactly how you are, even if it's just crap, crap, crap. You know what? You're allowed to say the word shit on my show and not be beeped out. So, you know what? Tell me how you are. I don't really know. I'm just, wow, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that they you're... Are okay. Is there anything that um, you may be wanting to find out from spirit or that sort of business? Or are you just looking to see what messages come through for you today? 
to see what comes through for me. Excellent, excellent. Lots. Have you had um, many readings before, Lisa? I've had a few. It's been a while, but I have. Okay. So you're aware that we can ask Spirit specific questions, but really it's whatever message they think you need to hear right now. You got it. Yep, yep. So I play with my cards. <clears throat> Not myself, my cards, all right. Um, my angel oracle cards. So I'm just going to take a moment to breathe, which is the most natural thing that we can do. And I'm going okay. to check into your cards, Lisa, okay? All right, sounds cool. And we breathe in for three. Out for three. In for three. Out for three. Last time, in for three. Out for three. Okay, so hopefully that relaxes all of us. Uh, both my children here with me, Declan and Lilith, are Earth Angels as well. So actually, you're getting all three of our energies, Lisa. Okay. <laughs> you get like a, a three for one. I love it. He doesn't really love his sister. It's fake. I do. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, Taylor, it's, it's the other way. Okay, my darling. Okay, so if I go quiet, it's not an awkward silence. It's because I'm receiving messages from spirit. Okay, sweetheart? Okay. And I know why you're feeling so blur. It's because you've had so many fake people around you. You've put so much trust and you've put yourself out to these, the people you did have around you. And then, you know, you, you've given them this unconditional side of yourself and it's like they're two-faced. It's like they haven't backed you but they haven't supported you either and you're just getting knock after knock after knock and they're not massive ones but they're little ones and you're just sitting there going how, how many more knocks can I take I'm, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm at my level you know um, does that resonate at all with you Lisa completely <laughs> good good so I can feel this it's not it's not a a um a giving up it's not a i don't know it's just a you've taken one too many knocks whether it's been big ones or little ones and you you're at your point you're like you're questioning yourself is this is this am i doing the right thing am i not doing the right thing am i a bad person am i not a bad person you are not a bad person and darling, you are doing all the right things. And the reason that you know that you're doing all the right things is because people are asking questions and people are unhappy. Okay. It's you need to be you and it's okay to be you the way you are. And all the people that don't like it, I know this sounds harsh. It's not. It's just you are finding a time of when you find your tribe. And the tribe that you've had leading up to now has not been supportive and you're over it. And that's excellent because it's time to move on to the next chapter. It's time to find a new tribe. But what you need to remember is that um, the tribe, what was or what looked like your tribe previously, uh, it's not not your tribe now. You've just evolved into a different tribe. So you need to start, and it's very, very freaking hard, lovely, with all this COVID stuff going on. You personally, I get the feeling that you need to, it's like you're an ambivert as well. You're the life of the party when you're happy and it's kicking. But when the party hasn't started yet, you're the nervous one off to the side. You need to be the one to step out of your comfortability zone and use other channels of communication with people that you absolutely do not know, okay? And the people that you choose to message, if you breathe and look at the name and it feels good to message a stranger, 
message them. You know, we, we all come into each other's lives for different, different reasons and we all have a purpose. Message those people. You don't know them. They're just waiting for a high. Right. Is hopefully that makes sense and hopefully, yeah, I just, I want to give you, you've got confidence. But somewhere it's dropped, it's lagged. Refine that confidence, girlfriend. You'll refine your tribe. And this whole blah situation will start to dissipate and move on. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I love hearing that. Lisa, did you have any other questions or anything that you would like me to try and find for you or feel for you? Yeah, am I on the right path? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Yes. Yes, yeah. I can. I can definitively. I have a female with me at the moment and she's very enthusiastic. She's probably early 30s, late 20s, early 30s. And yes, she's very enthusiastic and very on board that you are on the current right path. Awesome. <laughs> she, I see this big smile of hers. She's super excited for you. Me too. Excellent. We'll take care of you, Lisa, and we'll chat again hopefully soon. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you, my darling. Bye.